Okay guys, we're going to show you how to set up that team race functionality with your ghost module. I'm going to be doing a full review on that very soon, but I couldn't really find a good tutorial on how to do this. And Chief, that's right, Chief Alex FPV from DRL helped me set this up. So I just want to pass that info on to you guys. Now, what we're going to do is if I hit this button up here on the six position switch, I'm looking at quad one and you can see we're looking at Superman on the bench right here. And if I hit number two, we're going to switch over to quad two looking at Boba Fett. And if I want it off, I just switch to any of the others. I can have up to six quads on there and you can actually combine that with a switch to have up to 12 quads. If you want, I'm only going to have six, but that's going to work for me. So how do you do it? The first thing that you're going to need to do is calibrate this when you do the calibration for the radio so to do that you're going to hit the sys button you're going to page all the way over till you get to calibration so as you're calibrating and you're moving your sticks around like you would do you're also going to hit all six buttons on here and you're going to want to see it down here one two three four five six once all six are there you're good to go, finish the rest of your calibration. Second thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and set up a switch for that. So to do that, you're gonna hit your models button and you're gonna page over to your inputs. Um, I have my sticks on here, then I have an arm mode switch, a mode switch, a beep switch, a pit switch, and then this team switch that I've assigned to the 6P. So you're gonna create a new switch. For me, this is input number nine. I'm gonna name it team and then I'm gonna go in here and just select the source of 6P. That is the six position switch. That's all you're gonna do here. Next, you're going to page one over to the mixers tab and do the same thing. You're gonna go ahead and edit that and you're going to pick the team that you just set up in the previous tab. Then you're good to go. You're done with your radio setup. The rest of the setup is going to be done on the ghost module itself. So how you assign each quad is that when you're in the bind menu, you're gonna to want to go to bind and setup. And here's how you assign the number to each. So when I bound the first one, it was RX1. When I bound the second one, it was RX2. When I bind my next one, I'm gonna assign that to RX3. And that is what it's going to assign to the next quad next time I bind it up. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go down to the team race settings on the module right here. I'm gonna to wanna to make this equal to the channel that I assigned on my radio. So I assigned that six position switch to channel nine, which I have there. Then I have the mode control as six position. That's how it knows that there's gonna be six different positions it's expecting. The group control, group channel is something that you are going to do whenever you're gonna have those multiple switches. So if you need up to 12, I'm not gonna do that. So this will work just fine for one through six. If you do, you can assign a second switch in order to make the first layer be one through six and the second position be seven through 12. I'm gonna leave polite on, that just doesn't blast people when you're done and you're pretty much done. Now, what you can do to confirm that it's working right is if you go to the channels page and you wanna get to the second page. So I'm gonna push down to the right and I can see number nine right here. So now if I push the buttons on the six position switch, I should see it switching back and forth six layers. That means we have it mapped correctly. So now all of that is complete. I have my two quads bound up. Position six right now, so both of them are off. If I go to position two, that's gonna activate quad two, which is Boba Fett. If I go to position one, that's going to activate quad one. This is Superman. Now, whenever I'm in any of these other positions and I don't have a quad plugged in, everything is off. So in team racing where you may have three, four, five, six quads on the line, they are plugged in, but the VTX is totally off. This is essentially better than pit mode. And what you wanna do is you fly one. And interestingly, what it does is that it actually will fail safe the other quads. So you no longer have stick control as well as the VTX being off. Now I have full control of quad one. If this one goes down and you can't pick it up, you can switch to quad two that's on the line, start flying. It'll totally turn off your VTX and control link to quad one now. 
and it's still connected though so you have the option of reactivating it if you need to you can have however many quads on the line maybe you're not even looking at team racing but you want to be able to practice without having to keep going to the line to put a new battery on a quad you could do it in this way kind of like a tennis player would practice with all their tennis balls and then once they're all crashed you go pick them up at the end if this is useful for you guys um, let me know in the comments if you want a little more tips like this it was kind of a challenge because all of the videos out there had you doing settings in beta flight and you don't need to do settings in beta flight for this team race functionality it's all done in the really spectacular ghost module so i'm gonna have a full review of this very very soon but i'm really liking it and i'm gonna go race it for the first time at the night spot tonight. Thanks guys.